G'day everyone, Envy here, and we're back with some more MTG Arena today. We're playing No Colors, No Problem. This is a colorless deck, an M21 colorless deck that uses Ugin, the Spirit Dragon. We're going to use Ugin's special um, negative ability to exile each permanent that's converted mana cost X or less. That's one or more colors, since all our cards are no colored. It doesn't. It's a pretty much a one-sided board wipe, so it's a fantastic card. And we're using some brand new cards that came with M21 that will specifically help us in this deck. So let's go through the deck. We're running four Gingerbrute, the best one mana um, creature there is. That's an artifact, so it's awesome. It can't be blocked, so I love having Gingerbrute on turn one. Four Stone Cold Serpent, because Stone Cold Serpent is still amazing, and um, it's good at any time. Especially against multicolor decks, because um, it can block it, and it has reach, which I really like against Flyers. Four Steel Overseer, since we are running Artifacts, there's really no reason not to put Steel Overseer in. Putting those counts in our creatures can really help us, making them bigger. Pushing that for that final um, final win that we're trying to go for. We have four Crystalline Giant, which is um, just solid. I mean, from Ikoria, this is a really good Artifact. Um, every turn, if you don't know what it does, every turn you get a type of counter. There's eight different counters you can get, um, and plus one, plus one counter, and you keep going so you've got one of each counter. So... I mean, if, you, if he survives long enough, he ends up being a 4-4 with First Strike, Death Touch, Flying, Hexproof, Lifelink, Menace, Reach, Trample, and Vigilance. Which is pretty much unbeatable unless you board wipe him. So, he's a pretty solid card. We have 4 Palladium Mirror, which is a new card from M21. Which basically is a 3-mana, 2-2 Mana Dork that gives you taps for 2 colorless mana. And since we're all running colorless, this is a really good ramp card for us. It's pretty solid and it comes in really handy. We're running two Khan the Great Creator, which means we do have a sideboard. We'll go through the sideboard um, soon. So we are running two of this because it is a really good card. And I really enjoy Khan because he can let us um, tutor out something that we may need later or um, turn one of our artifacts into a final weapon. Also, it stops your opponent from activating artifacts. So if you're bursting a deck that's like using oven or something, it just shuts it down completely, which is really awesome. For Mystic Forge... Um, this ability actually comes in super handy. Um, you basically you can tap it and pay one life, um, exile top card of your library, but you can cast artifacts and color spells from the top of your library. This, in conjunction with um, Ugin, allows you to pretty much ca cast these for one and these for free from the top of your library, assuming you don't have um, lands on top of there. And if you do have enough lands, you can just exile the lands to get what you want. Um, you can also use Khan's abil uh, Ugin's ability to remove them from the top and make them tokens, which helps us um, find the cards we're looking for. Three Solemn, Solemn Simulacrum. I can't pronounce that. It's an artifact creature. Basically, when you put it on the battlefield, you can search your um, library for a basic land and put it on the battlefield tapped, which is awesome. Um, and when it dies, you can draw a card if you want. Also great. It's a great card, actually. It's really solid. I like it a lot. For our end games, we're running our two different Ugans. First is Ugin the Ineffable from War of the Spark. All color spells cost two less to cast. You can exile top card, it becomes a color sp spirit creature token. And when it dies, you get the card that it was to your hand, which is awesome. And it's negative three, destroy target permanents, one or more colors. So pretty much destroy um, anything that's not a color spell. It's really cool. And last, we're using three Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Ugin the Spirit Dragon is the new one from M21, the Mythic Rare. Um, plus two ability, it deals three damage to any target, which is solid. It's negative X ability, exiles each permanent with a converted mana cost of X and less, which is one or more colors, which is which is literally, again, anything that's not colorless. So if you get this down and your opponent's got, like, you know, a Nyssa and some creatures and some artifacts, you just say, I want a negative five, and you wipe everything out. It gets all exiled, which is great. And if you don't want to do that, you can, you can plus him for two turns, and on the third turn, do the negative 10 ability, so you gain seven life, draw seven cards, and put down as many seven permanents in your hand into the battlefield. And since all our cards are permanent, if we do activate this ability, we can put down everything we draw. Um, so it's just really, really solid card. For our lands, we are running 24 lands, and we are running a lot of colorless lands, but we are running some planes, and I'll go through why we're running planes in the deck. You don't need to run this deck with anything but colorless lands, but we are running some planes. So we're running seven planes, one blast zone, two bonders enclave, three interplanar, be interplanar beacon, four Khan's bastion, two mobilized district, and four radiant fountain. Now, 
Um, we've got the planes for our sideboard. This is our sideboard, which is my sideboard, but you can put whatever you want in. So, Torment's Crypt for exiling opponent's graveyard. Grafdigger's Cage to stop them from entering from the graveyard, which is good. One Shadow Spear for um, getting rid of Hexproof and giving us some lifelink if we need it. One Soul Guide Lantern, which also does the same thing as Torment's Crypt. Um, but you can use it if you want to exile um, at a certain time or just draw a card if you want. So it's good. Torn Crypt is a bit better, but I think having both is good in case taking away one of them. One, the Ozolith. Um, we do have a lot of counters. If we do get a lot of counters out and our opponent's not bored by us, but we're kind of in a stalemate, you might tutor out the Ozolith, play it. So if we do get wiped, we do put those counters on something else. Two Glass Casket. This is typically what I search for most times. It's a um, Glass Casket. It exiles something, which is why we have the White Manor. Two Sorcerer Spyglass, so we can stop our opponent from doing stuff. If we know what their combo is going to be, we can cut out one of their combos, which is great. Two Spark Hunter Manticore. So this is a new card from M21. It's a, a Mantis a Manticore. Ma Masticore. I have no idea what a Masticore. I've been calling this Manticore. Whoops, Masticore. But it has protection from Planeswalkers, which means Planeswalkers can't do anything about it. Um, but... Um, Basically, you can pay one to deal one damage to a type Planeswalker, and you can give it Indestructible. So it's a really good card if your opponent's running a very um, heavy um, Super Friends deck. One God Pharaoh statue for just those long, grindy games. If you have a big board, you can just grind your opponent out with this. Two Minio Golem for just removal, and one Pahelion the second. This is our why we have this, and we have white. We can tutor out um, with Khan to get Pahelion, play Pahelion, and then turn Pahelion into a artifact, um, a non-target creature, so it becomes that, and it it says it becomes a artifact creature into converted mana cost, so that means this becomes a 8-8 eight, eight artifact with flying, first strike, and vigilance, and so when it attacks, we get two angels as well, so it's a really good card to have. So that's our deck. Let's play some colorless deck and see how we do with no colors at all. Oh, card dead, and it's an Ugin. That is, as we know, when our opponent plays an Ugin, stuff is about to go down. Sure, whatever, I don't care. We got Paladin Mir. I like this card. Look how cool it looks. Look at his little face. Go planes. Pass turn. Turn two, we go Stone Coil Seven for a two drop. Oh, I feel that's it. Oh, that's not fun, is it? Let's go with Stone Claw Serpent. For two. What a pay. That's worrying. I can play the Amir down next turn. My try death that. Hmm. He didn't play anything. That's exciting. The Lady Amir. No attacks. Khan's Bastion, put down, and I've got, what is that, four, five, six, I've got six, which means I can play one of these cards. I think I'll put Crystalline Giant, probably the best choice. Uh, no blocks, I don't care. Yeah, I'm not interested in your things. Ooh, actually I can play Ugin, ooh. Ooh, yes, that's nice. Go Ugin! And let's make a little token to have fun with. Every I'm gonna get a thing. Give me the card, man. Oh, it was a land. Oh well. Let's go block next turn. Hmm. Most definitely fun. And he goes and kills Ugin with something. Possibly. Or he's just like, what What just happened? Did I just ramp the Ugin the Ineffable with Paladin Mir? Yes. Oh. Well, you know, it's fine. Whatever. No colors. Alright, well, I don't like that. I do like this a bit more, and I don't like 
really calm that much. So, yep, that's the hand we're going with. Alright, well, I guess we go with the Bond is on play. Hopefully we don't die at that point. Oh, scavenging. Well, that's great, isn't it? Let's go for a Stone Coil Serpent. To be a bit more alive. <laughs> I don't know, if we get another land, we can play Ugin. Ugin can kill stuff. Um, yeah, I, I don't, honestly don't care. I can die for all I care. You. You. If I get land next turn, I can play Ugin. Ugin can trigger. Or I can play Solarium next turn. It depends what he plays. What, no, what the hell noise did this thing make? Oh, he proliferated. How good is that? That's solid. Solid. Solid card, I'd say. Oh, you really proliferated the hell of that. I don't want to. No, Everything is going according to plan. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. Alright, we have enough to play Ugin next turn and we can blow Evolution Sage out of the sky. Hopefully. Oh, no, we're gonna blow that. Together, we will prevail. Rise, my element yep, we're gonna kill that. Yep, that's a thing. That's a card. Alright, how many we got? Uh, four, eight. I can play Ugin. And then kill... Oh, what do I... Wait, oh, with each of my it's... One or less colors. Alright. How many are... Is that five? So, let, let's do that. Let's play Ugin the Spirit Dragon. And let's go down... Five. Cherish what you find. No Silence. That went well. Well, that went well. Stone Cold Serpent's going to sacrifice himself against Ugin. Help collector. That's solidly an amazing card. Evolution Sage is also a great card. You going to tweet me? Uh. No. Stone Core Serpent negate blocks your attack. And says, no, you don't get to do that. Now, Bastion's a thing. Let's go Ugin, do your damage to the forest. Kill the forest. Consider this a warning. Hmm. You're strong. Uh, let's go with Ugin, the inevitable. I'm gonna blow him up. Of disaster. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, fine. <laughs> Alright, I'm going first, and I do get Palladium Mia, so that's. Pretty solid. I'm gonna keep this. I love Radiant Fountain. This is a fantastic card, by the way. It's great. Oh, it's a sacrifice deck. Of course it is. Like, why wouldn't it be anything but that? I mean, if we can last that long. Go play the Mirror. If we get land next turn, we can play Ugin, and Ugin can play Steel Overseer. Ugin can kill something of his, which is great. <sighs> Go play the Amir. Another one, please. We can Ugin next turn, and we can play a thing to protect us from that thing. Cool, whatever, man. 
Sure, whatever you say. Totally amazing. My presence alone guides truth. Lies beyond vision. Go steal over here. Hexproof. Neat. Sure, man. Glorious. Gloriously amazing. I'm going to... Firstly, we're going to go and act our ability and we're going to tap ourselves with all counters. We'll play Interplanar Beacon. I'm going to play my Mystic Forge. And I'm going to activate this one to exile this card. Ooh, that's fun. I'm going to play that for what? Four? One, two, three, four, five, five six. Autopel that one. Play that one. Three. Play Sanctum. Ooh, take that action. Put a planes down. Glorious. You go and destroy target that's more colors, which is Underworld Dreams, because I don't like that. What do you got? First strike and hexproof? Oof. Uh, yeah, you wanna... Oh, no, actually, no, 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 no. No attacks. We'll just attack next turn after we destroy Range of the Ravens. You and your world shall one can learn much from death. Try not to think Ow, that hurts. The dreams of the Ow, you're really hurting me. <laughs> Stop it. Knowledge is not without pride. More I'm gonna go get something. What do I want to get? Hmm. What do I want? What do I want? I think I want. I think I want Meteor Golem. If I have enough mana for that thing, I should do. Have it, or we go. Ooh. How much has he got? How much? Hold on. How much you got? Three. Hmm. I'm. You know what? I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. Meteor Golem. We're gonna take out Obnixilis. Let's play Meteor Golem. Bye, Obnixilis. I am not truly defeated. I could away. I don't have enough. Oh, I don't have enough mana. That's annoying, isn't it? Um, activate your ability, please. Activate your ability, please. Lovely. So, um, yeah, let's uh, next combat. What do you got? Hexproof vigilant. Ooh, next attackers. Um, I'm gonna go with you, you, and you. I'll take three damage. But, it's fine. Sure. I mean, whatever. It's all good. Play. I'll destroy something next turn, and then I'll play another Ugin, and it'll all be solid. Sure, man. First strike damage. Bang! Doesn't do anything to me. Sure. You're gonna, still gonna take it. Then you take 9 damage. In my turn. Next turn, you're going to go and find um, the one that gives us lifelink, and we're going to equip it to Crystalline Giant. I'm going to destroy Range of the Ravens with Ugin. Look at this. What a board. What a board, and we've got no colors, apart from the planes. I mean, you know, planes are really white, but, you know, all our stuff has no colors. So it fits the theme. Come on, Kiltash. You're staring down the barrel of a spirits. Second Revenge of the Ravens. Well, that's a solid play, isn't it? Us Packers. My turn. Ooh, how glorious. All right, first of all, you, can you destroy Revenge of the Ravens? Your Goodbye, Revenge of the Ravens. Is unwritten. I will play my Blast Zone. I'll play my Ugin. 
some solid life here. Ugin, go and destroy. Mm, so much fun. Mad Halloween. Alright, this is going to be fun. I got a good feeling about this. Am I going first? Opponent's going first, but I do have land, so... Soldy okay with this. Fine, whatever. I get to go second, but you know, it's not the end of the world. Although sometimes it is, and that kind of sucks when that happens. You know? But, eh, whatever. Oh, he did mulligan. So, 62 cut. Hey. So let's go Khan's Bastion, let's go Gingerbread. My brutish boys. I do like Palladium Mir first, rather than other cards, so he's still only got one mana, so that's pretty good for us, I'd say. But he did play India after Triome, which I don't really like, so... Mobilize District. Combat. Oh, cancel. Next to attackers. Jeez, I don't know what happened there. One attacker. Next blockers. Maybe we put Crystalline Giant down first. If we, got, if we don't have any... Okay, let's make a deal. Enter. If during... If during... My next turn. If I don't get a Planeswalker, I'm going to play Clistrain Giant. Yeah. What turns what he plays? Is he going to try and kick Ginger? I'm going to... I'm just going to... I'm going to... Oh, man. I got to... Ugh. Can't do anything. Sure. Well, I guess he dies. Did he just kill Ginger Brute? That was a weird choice of executioner, but whatever. Um... Ooh, actually, actually, if I play the Amir, I could do both next turn. Play that one. He'll play you and you next turn. That'd be pretty solid. Pretty sweet. I mean, he doesn't kill it. Maybe. He didn't. But that's good. Good for me. Go, Crystalline Giant. I'm just gonna go combat phase. Get the. Good. Uh, no attacks. Play Overseer. That gives them solid stuff for me. And I can play Mystic Forge next turn. I hope I get some kind of like life link. That'd be nice. Lurus. Okay, well Lurus isn't on the field now, so that's kind of worrying. Okay, Lurus is going to bring Lurus back. Oh, that's kind of less fun. All right. Well. Crap. As they say. Go for it. Hit him in the face, please. And my turn. I can play Ugin next turn. I can actually play Ugin properly. And if I kill... Lurus, Lurus will br bring back. Oh, he's gonna use the thing again, kill Palladium Mia. What the hell? Why am I make him big? Ooh. Well, 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 actually, I can play both. Oh, I can. Nice. Okay. Destroy thing. Destroy. Stroke. Destroy Kai's ghost form. Be gone, interloper. Yes. And wise. Destroy Lurus now. Hopefully. I can create or destroy. Well, 
We didn't quite win the war I wanted. We got first strike and reach. Uh, he can't attack next turn, but he can play two of these. No, he can't. So I think we go for one, see if we can get some damage in. Hmm, interesting. I think we're going to get Exile the Graveyard. And if we get Ikan, he's going to play Lurus. Lurus can bring back Kai's Ghost Form, most likely. Yep, that's fine. About if I expected. Alright, well, here's the thing. Let's do this. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? Um, uh, okay, let's go. Let's go and exile that thing, so I don't want it. Mmm... Let's play another Mystic Forge, since I have nothing else to play. Let's activate Mystic Forge. Come on. I don't want these... Oh, an Ugin. That's nice. Uh, yes. Play another Ugin. Destroy. I'm going to keep this one. Uh, yep. Another, another dude. Secrets manifest. Another Mystic Forge. Mystic Forge, go activate the ability. Mr. Combat. Vigilance, first strike, and reach. Ooh. That's a solid move. Let's do it. Alright, well. Hmm. I mean, he could use Mythos of... Yeah, he's going to Mythos of mine. I will seek other well, that wasn't fun, was it? Minus Brass kills Crystalline Giant. Cool. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going to go with the Solarum Sincarum. I'm going to search my... Yep, oh, I'm going to find me a land. And then shuffled and I got the exact same card again. That's pretty pretty crazy, isn't it? Um, let's go. Hmm. Do I want to do it? I think I do. Oh, I can. Yes. I know more than you could learn in a thousand. There we go. Just annoy them enough with, with Ugin, so you just annoy them, so you win. Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, that, we, I had a lot of fun with that. That was a pretty super solid deck. Um, I think it needs a little bit of refinement, but I had a lot of fun with it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for future MTJ Arena videos. And if you enjoyed the deck, please let me know what you enjoyed about it in the comment section below. And if you have any ideas for future decks, please also leave that in the comment section below. Um, yeah, thank you so much. This this has been a lot of fun so far. I'm really enjoying M21. There's a lot of cool ideas and new decks will be coming out every day for the foreseeable future for the next couple of weeks at least. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now, everybody.